IUPUI is host again this year to the Summit League Swimming and Diving Championships. They run Wednesday through Saturday, and you can track all the results on the Summit League website and on Twitter. The Denver men and women are both two-time defending team champions. Pioneer swimmers have every individual top time going into the championships. But one of the individual diving stories to watch is Grayson Herding at South Dakota. She is looking to become the first female diver to win both the one-meter and the three-meter boards for three years in a row. Here is Alex Heiner in Vermillion with more on what makes Herding a 25-time Summit League Diver of the Week so special. It's a Thursday afternoon, and South Dakota junior Grayson Herding is at diving practice. It's a sight seen nearly every day during the season, but with the USD pool located in relative isolation inside the Dakota Dome, the work Herding and her teammates do here often goes unnoticed by those outside the program. I don't think a lot of people know that we have a pool here, but I feel like recognition has helped. People are realizing that there's a swim team here and that we do fairly well. Even though USD's swimming and diving teams aren't often in the spotlight, it's not for lack of accomplishments. Both teams have produced quality results in the Summit League in recent years, but it's Herding, a junior from Appleton, Wisconsin, who stands out. After winning a Wisconsin State Diving Championship in high school, Herding had no shortage of college offers, but a hometown connection with then USD diving coach Chris Huntsman put Vermillion on Grayson's radar. She didn't officially choose the Coyotes, though, until very late in the recruiting process. Took a lot of pride in them poking to get her to finally commit. Um, she was one of those late, late, late signees for us, but uh, um, she's blossomed ever since we had her, had her show up. I definitely chose the right choice, definitely the right school. Knew that, I think, the first week. Choosing a college was stressful for Herding, but it's a feeling she's accustomed to, especially when she's on the diving board. A lot of pressure, guys. Diving is a stressful sport. I put a lot of stress on myself, and sometimes it overcomes my want to do well, if that makes sense. It's going to sound dumb, but I just try to calm down. I put on music. I talk with my friends and try to come down a little bit from that anxiety and just even myself out and do what I know how to do. What she knows how to do is win. Since arriving at USD, Herding has won almost everything a Summit League diver can, including back-to-back -back conference titles in both the one and three meters, two Diver of the Year honors, and a ridiculous 23 Summit League Diver of the Week awards. It's safe to say the amount of success and how quickly it's come has surpassed expectations. We thought her, her ability to come in and do well for us was high. Um, we didn't quite know that she was gonna be this dominating this early. You know, I think we maybe thought by our junior senior year we might see some of this. We didn't think we'd see it in her freshman, sophomore year. I was hoping to do well, but I was a freshman. I didn't really know what I was walking into. I think it was at conference when I did end up winning. It kind of told me that I can do it, and I'm able to do well at something that I love. Success hasn't come without sacrifice. You practice every day for about two hours, some conditioning in between. A lot of time. Grayson's hitting 20 hours a week. The max the NCAA allows us. I mean, she's in here 20 hours a week. Um, you know, and that's not including the time I'm sure she's thinking about it away from the pool. But Herding has been able to thrive despite the full-time commitment of being both a D1 athlete and a nursing major. You know, one thing Grayson probably won't tell you is she's also a 4.0 student. She does a job in the classroom. You know, she's a coach's dream come true. Looking ahead, Herding has her sights set on another sweep at the conference championships in Indianapolis this February. I would really like to do well again at conference. I've done it for the past two years and it'd be nice to do it again and I guess just keep improving. Beyond that, it's the NCAA Zone Championships in Texas, a meet Herding's earned an invite to for the third straight year against some of the best divers in the nation. Our zone is a pretty tough zone. Uh, it includes Texas, Texas A&M, Minnesota, um, a lot of those big 12, big 10 teams that are really, really good. It's a little bit of an adjustment to see crazy divers and crazy dives, but it's adjustment, but you figure it out. And this is a year where she wants to go and not just make it, but she wants to go and do something with her, make it back to finals, make that next step to making the NCAA championships. It's that drive to not be fully satisfied, even with greatness, that has Herding in position to continue to make a splash in the Summit League 
and beyond. She's the one athlete I would say every year at the end of the year isn't satisfied with where the season ended and she goes farther than the other athletes. So I think that says a lot about her. She wants to continue to get better. I think the past success pushes me the most. I know that I can do it and so now I want to continue doing it.